Hello everyone, this is Edwin Ghostbusters and Lego Movie Fan 2003, and today I'm going to review on Henry Danger. Came out the year 2014 all the way through 2020. So base what the plot is. It's about a 13-year-old boy named Henry Hart, he lives in the town of Swellview. Henry goes to the shop place called Junk End Stuff and applying for a job. Then Henry found an elevator and he goes down to the secret lair and he meets the store owner slash superhero named Ray Manchester aka Captain Man. So Henry got hired and he became a superhero sidekick named Kid Danger. Captain Man tells Henry to not to tell anybody about his job as a superhero sidekick. So Henry attempts to keep it a secret from his best friends Jasper and Charlotte, his younger sister Piper, and his parents. Captain Man and Kid Danger mission is to fight crime and fight against the supervillains and saving people in Swellview. So it's up to Captain Man and Kid Danger to defeat all of the supervillains and save the day. And that's basically what the plot for the entire show. What did I think about this show? This show is great and really underrated. This is my favorite underrated Nickelodeon show. And also this show is turning 10 years old this year. Let's talk about the story and the characters. The story is good. The action scene is cool. Henry Hart aka Kid Danger, played by Jace Norman, he is a great protagonist. Ray Manchester aka Captain Man, played by Cooper Barnes, he is awesome and funny in this show. Charlotte, he is a great character. Jasper, no not Jasper from Chuck E. Cheese, Jasper in this show. He is hilarious in this show. Piper, he is funny and annoying at the same time. Schwoz, he is a hilarious character. Henry's mom, she is really great in this show. Henry's dad, he is a really funny character. And all of Captain Man's villains, they're good in this show. Let's talk about my favorite episodes in this show. My first favorite episode is with Kid Danger and the Waldog girl Veronica are teaming up, and Kid Danger became evil. That is a really great episode. My second favorite episode is the crossover episode with Kid Danger and Captain Man team up with Phoebe Thunderman from the Thundermans to take down Max and Captain Man's villains. That is a really awesome episode. My third favorite episode is another crossover episode. With Kid Danger and Captain Man are teaming up with the Game Shakers gangs and take down the villain Dr. Minyak. That is a really fun episode in my opinion. My fourth favorite episode is with Kid Danger is fighting Drex, and Kid Danger got his speed fight powers. That episode is incredible. And I like the part where Kid Danger is spanking Drex while he sings spanky spanky spank your butt at the end of the episode. I really laugh at this scene. My fifth favorite episode is where Captain Man and Kid Danger travel back in time to stop Drex in the 1980s. That is a fantastic episode. My sixth favorite episode is where Captain Man and Kid Danger goes to space. That is a really good episode. My seventh favorite episode is Henry's birthday episode. That episode is so funny. But do I have any negative about this show? Well there's only two episodes that I did not like. The first worst episode is where Henry Hart got grounded. That episode is sucks in my opinion. My second worst episode is Jam Session episode. Where Piper was tries to calm down with her temper collar. But Ray's plan is to making her angry, so he can force Henry and Charlotte to eat the pumpkin guts. That episode is terrible, and Ray is being a dumbass in this episode. And I know there's only one YouTuber that who hates this show, that is Nick Hicks Spider-Verse and Kim Possible Fan 2001. He said it was the worst Nickelodeon show. So Nick Hicks Spider-Verse and Kim Possible Fan 2001 if you're watching this. I can handle your opinion on this show. So overall I give this show a 9 tenths. It's a great show. And that's my review on Henry Danger.